Okay, we've got a question here. We have a question here. This is a pragmaglycogen bike. We'll get to that in a second. So the question is, hi Harley, looking for some advice, please. Just watch the YouTube on alloy versus carbon. And um, looking to buy a new bike, don't have loads to spend at 1500 GPP. Looking at alloy, Rose Pro SL, rim brake, rim brakes to the wind gang. Uh, Pro Rose SL 105, a CAD 13 105, or for carbon, looking at a Canyon Endurance CF 7.0. Uh, smallish rider, five foot six, sixty-eight kilos. So nice and aero. Any advice would be most welcome. Thanks, AJ. Now, if you do have bike questions and you want them definitely answered, join my coaching group at duranide.com. This is just a random question I've, I've seen. So people ask me. I get asked like a lot of questions every day, and I do get back to more people than anyone I know who has a subscriber base. I do, but obviously I came back to everyone. So if you do want your question answered, join my coaching group, and then we can go really in depth. All right, let's get to the question here, um, except the cookies, the vegan cookies. No EPO in these cookies. Cookie man. All right, so here we have. That, this joke, that joke will never end, will it? Well, <laughs> the magic cookies up Norton Summit. Just a bit of friendly banter, nothing personal. All right, so we've got the CAD 13. Karbonski. All right, so we're going to go through all the, What's that headset through dang thing? Was that a, not a future shock, is it? Let's go, and we're going to pick these bikes apart. No Duran Rider style, which means no bullshit. Bullshit free zone. Can't swear too much because you YouTube algorithm. That's really changed a lot. I used to get a lot more views, and I was talking to a YouTuber friend uh, recently about this, and he's like, yeah, man, you can't swear anymore. You can't swear anymore. The algorithm just puts you out of the thing. So let's have a look here. We'll try and do our best to keep the French away. All right, so the Canon, the Canyon made in China. China. Chinese, where everything's made these days. My bikes are made in China. Pinarello's made in China. Cannondale's made in China. Canyon made in China. All right, so it's got the 105 group set. That's a pro. We've got a standard seat clamp. That's a pro. We've got a standard looking fork. That's a pro. We've got some frang dangled headset. We've got a one a normal two piece alloy bar and stem. That's a pro. 105 group set. Uh, standard seat process. Have a look at the deals here um, in terms of the componentry. All right, what's the components on this bad boy? All right, so, oh, the headset, that A cross. Oh my god, what? What the fuck? Don't oh, swear, Duran Rider. What the fruit is Canyon doing with an Acros headset? Like, it's frick, fruiting 2020. Why the fruit? Are we using Acros? Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, so this part's good. Oh, it's got a press fit BB, so press fit, all right? If you watch a guy called Hambini, Hambini's also a no BS YouTuber like myself, and we're cut from the same ADD uh, Asperger's cloth. And BB, oh man, press fit just sucks. It gets distorted and it creaks and it groans. So this bike was doing good. It was doing good. It's got the 105, it's got a 27.2 seat post and a standard clamp. And it's got an alloy bar and an alloy stem. You know, it's doing good. You know, doing good. And then they had to do it with some Acros headset, which you can swap out. But it's got to have some sort of bung plug in there. And, oh, man, jeez, wow. That's a canyon. What are you doing? Where's the BSA? So the, the canyon would be, it's got fulcrums. Fulcrum wheels are all right. You know? It's got a GS type dual derailleur, so that's all right. So that, a GS means you can run a 40 cassette. You can run a 40 cassette on this bike if you wanted to. All right, so the Canyon's like, good. Yeah. You all right? What's, what's the price in this bad boy? What's the price in here? It's 1,400 British pounds. Is that Euro? No, it's pounds, mate. From pounds. From, from England, mate. Governor. Governor, it's a red color bike. It looks pretty good. Got this fruit in Atos headset, mate. What is that doing? Bradley Wiggins would throw this bike against the wall. All right, so here we have the Ro Is this the same bike? Maybe it's coming out of the same factory in China. All right, so let's have a go. Rosa, how many pounds is this? 1,000 pounds. How much was the Canyon? 1,400. So we're talking 300 pounds different, roughly. Not including shipping, etc. All right, let's have a look here. So it's got DT Swiss wheels. Let's have a look. We're not, we're not really going to check out the geometry because that can vary person to person. We're just going to go with all these bikes we pretty similar anyway. You can flip the stem or slam the seat forward, etc. Where's the specs in this bad boy? Where is the specs? <laughs> Where's the specs on this thing? 
this is this, Rosa. I've been to this shop in Bockel, Germany. It's pretty cool, Rosa. But where the heck is the Spech? Here we go. Features. We call it features in Deutschland. In Australia, we call it specifications. All right. So we've got a um, a fork, a Gabaloidisch, a mandarin red. So it's named after a fruit. We like that. Is this? Is this? What sort of frame is this? Is it made out of mandarins? Twelve hundred eighty grams. It could be alloy. It could be carbon. All right. Either way, it, it pro aluminium. All right. So it's an alloy frame. Okay. So it's got DT Swiss wheels. That's a pro. The Ultra Sport tires work good. Hey, what's this 650B? What's going on here? What's, what's this bike doing? 27 inch wheels? What? What? 650B? What's going on here? What's going on in this world? What's going on in Germany lately? They're putting 650B on road bikes? What? I don't understand what's going on here. Let's, let's ignore that. Let's just assume that it's 700C. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe it's for size 48, which should still be a 700C rule anyway. Okay, doing all right. Don't digress. Take your meds. Crank set, 105, 105. Everything's doing pretty good. We've got a GS on the back. That's fantastic. So, yep, win, win, win. Uh, win, win, win. What sort of seat post we've got? 27.2. It's a win. Bottom bracket. What's the bottom bracket? There's no bottom bracket mentioned there. This is unusual for Deu for Deutschland, German precision. Where is the specs, man? Where is this? It's got an interesting rear derailleur hanging on it. I'm not sure what sort of bottom bracket's in here. It doesn't say. I couldn't see it. It's lost points, though. For the, uh, uh, internal seat clamp is losing points. What if you're on holiday and it snaps or it rattles out of the box and you lose a bolt or you lose a little wedgie? What are you going to do then? You're going to be up Fruit Creek without a paddle, all right? So it's got a 27... God, God, why can't it just... Why can't bike companies just make bikes that just frick, fruiting work? And what is this headset? Is this an Acros? What is Acros even doing in the in the bike industry these days? Okay, no, that, that's, not, that's unfair. You can make headsets, Acros. Just make real headsets. What is that bulbous-looking thing there? What is the bulbousness from? Bulbousness. Um... This website's all, is it just me or is this hard to, the headset, like where's the specs? Germany. Someone get Germany on the phone, let's get this thing sorted. What's going on? What's going on? I'm not sure, okay, so the Roz is getting a bit of a miss from Duran Rider. We've got integrated fa Faffy Faffy. The Canyon's looking better, but it's got the press fit bottom bracket. We know Canyon bottom brackets are pretty crapola. Let's go Cannondale. All right. Ooh, what's this gothic-looking website? Dark. Where's the greens? Where's the cigar? Where's the, where's the basso? Where's the Tinkoff colours? This is green Seattle Xanax vibes going on here. All right. This is a CAD 13. I've had a Cannondale. I've had a Cannondale every day of my life. Alloy Cannondale next to me. Well, next to me. I've had a, an alloy Cannondale in my quiver every single day since 1998. So 22 years I've been riding and racing. Cannondale alloy bikes. Um, they make a good bike. This is the CAD 13. This is the CAD 13. So speed metal, they're calling it. Also, these pretentious Instagram vibes going on here. Bring back some reality. All right, so this is the deal here. This is the Australian website. So in Aussie prices, in Aussie land, I'm not sure how many British pounds this is. Let's bring it up. This is the Cannondale... Cat 13, it's looking promising. Oh, it looks like it's coming out of the same factory in China as the Roz, isn't it? It's got that you know, integrated oh, heads. Oh, man. they got direct mount brakes. Uh, they've got direct mount brakes in here. Like, they did great. They've got direct mount brakes, all right? This is what I don't understand. They Previously, they had just a normal seat clamp and a 25.4, 27.2 post. And now they've gone some fangled seat clamp that down the track's going to have a problem one day. If it's not now, it's in next year when five years' time or in ten years' time. And then you'd be like, oh, I can't find a spare. This bike goes to the recycling dump. So it has a nice standard headset, standard stem, standard handlebar. We like that. 105 group set, we like that. BB30. Oh, dirty on the BB30. Dirty on the BB30. BB30's hitting this. It either works or it wanks. 
All right, all right. it's got a GS rear derail on the back. Now, I, I do sell BB30 bikes, all right? But I strongly advise my customers not to get them. And only if they push me and put a put a durin against my neck, do I say, okay, we'll, set, we'll order BB34. I don't like BB30. It's faff. It's faff. Uh, most of the time. Not all the time. Sometimes it just works, but a lot of times it's just like, oh, man. I was riding an S-Works bike today. It's BB30. I'm like, oh, just want to put the cranks on and go for a ride. Where's the spaces? Where's the O-ring? Where's all the nonsense? BSA, you screw it in and you get the job done. It's just easy. All right, so this is the CAD 13. Uh, Cannondale make a good product, but ditch this BB30 crap. It's 2020, you know? You can put a Hambini thing in there, a Woods Manufacturing thing in there. You can. That's going to add a lot of cost to it. I don't really think that a consumer should have to spend extra money on a bike that's made in China to make it better for the real world. I don't think that's right. That's just me. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe I'm old school. All right. BSA for the win. So direct mount brakes, yes. Handlebar stem, yes. BSA on this bike, no. 105 group set, yes. 27, what's that look? There's good stats here. Oh, man. When a, when a bike company, that's why, this is, this is the exact reason why I started my own bike brand. So I don't have to deal with this incompetence of bicycle manufacturers specking good stuff and then bad stuff, you know? All right, so let's have a look here. We've got a stem, good. Handlebar, good. Compact, good. Seat post, 27.2, good. Standard seat post. The seat post clamp, we don't like that. That's a negative. BB30 is a negative. This is almost the, the best. This was so close to being the best alloy bike ever made. Ever made. Which we still have with Trek Amonda ALR. Now if you can find one of those, I'd recommend one of those. The thing with the Amonda ALR is it does have the press fit bottom bracket, the BB86, which some people did have issues with. So Trek almost got it perfect. They were so close, they almost had the BSA. They had direct mount brakes and the 27.2, the external clamp, normal fork, normal headset. And then they did press fit. And then they just killed it. Then they just axed it. Like, no more rim brake. No more rim brake during rider. And I'm so like, what are you doing, man? It's insane. So the industry's pushing for discs, discs, discs. Let's, I'll show you exactly what. Look at the media. Disc brake, disc brake. They're really just pushing it. Frame set here. They're just pushing this discsness. And look at this. Award winning. Award winning. It's not award winning. It's they gave the bike to Cycling News or Bike Radar or Cycling Weekly or these other professional cycling tips, paid endorsement websites, paid marketing websites, and they gave the award because they're getting paid to award the product that the companies want to push. So this award means absolute nothing to me, nothing at all. Because why you wouldn't award... If you rode these two bikes side by side, the Rim 105 and the Disc 105, there's no road racer with blood in their body and a decent hematocrit who would choose the disc brake version over the rim brake version. There's not a single road racer in the world of any integrity and caliber who would choose a disc brake road bike over a rim brake road bike, unless there's some sort of monetary bonuses going on there, right? These, these people prostitute themselves to push this disc brake road bike agenda. Now, disc brakes are fantastic for gravel, for cross-country mountain bike. If you're a noob out there and you're, you know, you're new to cycling, disc brakes can give you that bit of confidence. Okay, Fair, fantastic, yes. But it's the thing that we're trying to say that disc brakes are better for road riding and road racing, which is the CAD 13 is designed for, is absolute bollocks. Direct mount brakes with alloy rims are far, far good enough. And this is more proof here while on this vendetta about rims and discs. And you can see here, bike radar, paid advert, disc brakes, beard on a bike. I don't know who that is. Disc brakes. Um, Melbourne cycling segments. Another Aussie YouTuber. Disc brakes, disc brakes, disc brakes, cycling weekly, Hamini. Sigma Sports, we've got disc brakes. We've got Sigma Sports, we've got disc brakes. Um, now we've got Joe Cycling Reviews down here. I'm not sure who Joe Cycling Reviews is, but... And Cyclist, 15k views, disc brakes, Road CC, disc brakes. So it's all pushing this J.E. James Cycles, disc brakes. 
So everyone's pushing this disparate nonsense. You know? E Super 6 Evo, disc brakes. Oh, man. GCN Tech, rim brake. But now they're all going for discs on the Canada. This is what's going on here. This is a first world problem. This is a pandemic. This is the disc brake pandemic. I've got COVID 140 rotors going on here. So which bike would I get? Um, wow. Which one would I get? I would get a... Oh, you, if you want a bike today then a pragma glycogen is not going to be the situation because there is a long wait with these. And you have to build it up. You have to have the mechanical know-how. But, it's okay, so that's scrapped out of the out of the plan. That's that's what I would choose. This is, this is why I created my bike company, because of this incompetence of the bike industry, what's going on right now. Uh, so what I would go, I would try and get a Trekamonda ALR. All right? I would get one of those if I could. Rim brake. Failing that, I would probably... Yeah, it's got maybe 30. Oh, man. Can I recommend that? Oh, jeez. You know, and the Ros has got, you know, this fang-dangled thing as well. Which one am I going to... Oh, come on, do another choose. Make a choice. Make a choice. You can, you can... Okay, so let's look at what we can improve. We can get rid of that Acros monstrosity. We can't get rid of the press fit bottom bracket and put a BSA in there. That's, that's sort of stuck. And that may or may not work. The Canyon bottom bracket may or may not hold up i'm gonna i'm gonna oh i do like this so this is good i'm probably gonna i'm gonna give it a pass i'm gonna give it a pass rosa i'm not sure what that headset is <laughs> i'm not sure what it is this is an acros one of the one there's no plug ones oh and we've got this we can't even get rid of that you know we're fixed with that stupid proprietary seat post clamp and we, we don't know what the bb is because the website's broken. Something's going on with Germany. You know, it's, it's a good bike. Cad 13, I can't recommend it with that proprietary seat post. Because one day you'll be riding down the road in a few years' time and the seat post bolt fails, the wedge, you lose the wedge and you holiday in Mallorca. And you're like, dude, Arne, you told me to buy this bike and now I've lost the seat post wedge and I can't get one for two weeks. No bike shop's got one in stock. So I can't recommend the Canada. I can't recommend a Rosa because of that as well. Uh, we can change. This is okay. Uh, you know, we can change the headset. The bottom bracket is going to be a, a, a dice 50 50, yes or no. You know, I, I would probably go. If I had someone had a gun to my head, I would choose the Canyon. Come on, Rosa's got to be doing something better than Canyon. Come on. Come on. Do we have to recommend a Canyon? Uh, Ros is going to be doing something better. Where is the good bikes these days? Who's doing proper bikes? Who's doing real bikes these days? Besides Duranider. Who's doing real bikes? Come on, let's have a go. Come on, come at me, bro. Here we go. What's this reveal for? Oh, it's got a... Where's the freaking fruiting headset? Oh, see, it's got that... That's the issue here. Is it's got that freaking bolt on the other side of the thing. So it's integrated. Where's the old Ros's? Where's the clearance? Where's, is there a clearance one? Can we get an old model? Let's go to Decathlon or whatever. Come on, let's go to Decathlon. Bikes. B Twin. Let's, can B Twin do a something, please? Can B Twin save the day? Now, the chances are you could buy the Cad 30, and you could buy the Canyon, and you could buy the Rosa and never have a problem with it. That's a strong chance. But there's also a strong chance you do buy one of these bikes and you do have a problem down the track. You know. All right, so let's go and go. We've got Van Riesel. Well, who is Van Riesel? Let's go Van Riesel. What is Van Riesel? Is Van Riesel a brand? It's looking good. It's got 105. It's got normal bars and stem. It looks like it's got a... Let's have a look. It's got a normal... Van Riesel is a... Endurance, it's a UCI approved, not that means nothing. So GS in the back, that's good. It's got compact crank, that's good. It's got a 32 out the box, that's good. It's got fulcrums, that's good. Um, brakes, 105, that's good. That's good. Um, handlebars, alloy, that's good. This bike's pretty built pretty strong. It's not super light, but it's good. 27.2 posts. And we've got a standard, a standard lifetime warranty in the frame which is good for alloy because alloy will break eventually. 
um, 110 kilo weight. I would I would recommend this bike. I would recommend this bike. What's come up? Where, where's the bottom bracket? Where's the bottom bracket? This is when these uh, like, where's that information? Where's the information? Can we get some photos, please? We can't see what bottom brackets in there. This is this is the bike I would choose. This is the bike I would choose. You know, this bike's going to give you the least problems. It could be a BSA. It could be a press fit. It's hard to say. It, ooh, it's hard to say. This is what I would choose. Hey, and it's 840 quid. It's 840 quid. What's this guy's budget? 1,500 British pounds. 1,500. So you can buy two. Almost two of these for the price. I would get this and I'd put a power meter on it. What wheels have we got in here? Fulcrums. They're good enough. So I would get one of these, man. I would get one of these. If you want more tips, get my bike buyer's guide, durandride.com. I'm going to put this bike in my... This is what I would get. This is what Rider would ride if I was spending my own money. And you got pennies left over. You could upgrade the wheels down the track, get some spinningy Z-lights, which are a proprietary spoke wheel. So it's a bit hypocritical when we recommend them, but they are super strong, and you can get spares for them. So this has got external cables. Let's zoom it in here. Let's zoom it in. Um, oh, here we go. You know, I can hear a pussycat in the background. Around. So yeah, this is this is what I'd be grabbing. We get one of these bad boys. And you can put some damn tires down the track. When these tires wear out, put some Continental GP4000, 25 mil or 28 mil if, if it fits and you're gonna live on rough roads. This is a bike I would grab, all right? It came out of the same factories of China as Rosa and Canyon. Similar factories, similar level of quality. So you can't really go wrong with this one. What's the bottom bracket though? Can we get a picture of the bottom bracket, please? Here we go. All right, let's flick through these ones here. It looks like it's got a pretty cool little hologram. There. I mean, it's got a standard headset in there, you know? It's got a standard headset in there. Let's go Ribble. Come on, what about Ribble? Ribble's got something. Katie Cooker Brothers brand. Ribble. Ribble. All right, this is Katie Cooker representing here. I'm not sure they've got anything in that budget, though. Ribble's got a bit up more upmarket. It's the Endurance. 725. I think that's going to be a bit more of a value orientated bike. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is this is steel. We don't want steel because we're going for what's the what's the price anyway? So twelve hundred pound, twelve hundred quid. Twelve hundred quid. Is this steel? Is this really steel or is this alloy? It is steel. All right, so this is a steel bike. It's got Mavic wheels. We'll skip it. We'll skip it. It does have got the bottom bracket just for just for you know just for giggles. Stem and stem bars is good. Um, bottom bracket BSA, they've done well. They've done well. Why don't we like it? What's wrong with it again? Oh, yeah, Mavic wheels pass. Um, but that, yeah, that's if you want a steel frame, then the endurance would be rib will be fantastic. Um, DR2 and Mavic wheels are shit. Mavic wheels are shocking. Mavic wheels are shocking. The 872. Let's have a look, see here. The 872, this is at Ribble. All right, we're looking at 105, 1500 quid. All right, so it's almost double the price of that, of that, uh, what's this fangled? It's got a standard seat post in there. All right, what we got here? We've got brakes and Tetro, a Crapola. All right, should, Ribble, you should have 105 at this price point. You should have 105, you're missing out. In England, you need good brakes in the wet roads. You've got to have Shimano 105 brakes. BSA bottom bracket for the win. All right, this is a good bike. This is a good bike. Wheels. Rally. Rally. What's a rally wheel? This is, no, hang on. This has got Mavic wheels on it. Eh. 
Mavic. <laughs> Mavic wheels. Is there worse wheels than Mavic? There's got to be something worse than Mavic, isn't it? Chris King hubs are really shocking. The R45s are shocking hubs um, for most people. What else have we got? What's the, what's the crap all the wheels? Mavic wheels. Oh, man. Mavic. Zip. <laughs> Zip wheels are shocking. Out there. Zip hubs explode. So this bike is not bad. We could, I mean, you could sell the wheels pretty easy. The wheels, you can flip the wheels out. Yeah, that's not too, too that's, not, that's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, you can change the brakes over. Yeah, that's all right. Um, there's things you can live with here. But otherwise, the BSA win, 27.2 post standard clamp win, standard bars and stem win. All right, so this bike, price though, 1,500 pounds, not that good value compared to what we can get from Decathlon. So that's my comments and criticisms and thoughts and comments. Ribble seems to be making a good product. BSA, you know, standards, clamp, things like that. Ribble and B-Twin for the win. Canyon let us down. Cannondale let us down. Rosa let us down. Ribble and B-Twin, Van Dysel, Decathlon have picked the game up. That's my honest thoughts and criticisms. That's what I'll be buying. And I'll, I just love riding these no-name bikes because... When you flog the barrister on his S-Works or his Cannondale or whatever, you know, it just feels that a little bit better. <laughs> a bit better banter. Uh, end of the day, whatever bike you ride, that's the main thing. You're out there. It's better to have a bike than no bike. It's better to be riding a bike than not riding a bike. It's better to have a bike on the road under you that maybe have a creaking BB30 than a bike with BSA sitting against the wall getting dusty. Right? So end of the day, what matters is you're out on the bike. I am very criti uh, critical and harsh with my views. I just want to give people the best advice out there and because I just, you know, it makes me gag and dry reach at how corporate and how fake and how pretentious cycling has become with social media. And so I'm doing my best to help, you know, raise the bar, not to really bring anyone down, but just raise the bar and show industry, you know, what they should be making. And uh, that's what I'm doing. Just, you know, make my own bikes, make my own bikes. So be yeah, I understand if you want a bike already built up, then I can't help you. In terms of product, I can help you to give you direction. So, Ribble, pretty good, but I'll be going back for that uh, decathlon. And you got you got seven hundred and fifty pounds in your in your pocket, in your hot little pocket, or six fifty quid in your pocket for power meter, for you know some spinachy Z light wheels down the track, um, things like that. A Brighton three thirty, you know things like that. So yeah, you can definitely deck yourself out. You can deck yourself out nicely for fifteen hundred quid, power meter included. That's my thoughts, comments, and criticisms. Let us know down below. Do you agree or disagree with Duran Riders' professional, unprofessional, non-biased opinion? Peace.